Hello, this is Balika Padge and welcome to a Padge Plays Indie Edition. What the stick is this? You sound like a moron when you use stick like that. What's the matter? What the stick? I knew it was time to leave when they started shipping sticks in boxes. But you don't just leave the organisation. I might be a hired gun, but I have standards. Stick trafficking and snuff films, I'm out. I'm sorry, is assassination the only stick death you approve of? It's not like we're breaking new ground here. It's different. It's semantics. You've got two options. Get on board, or get in a box. I made sure they knew I didn't want to be followed. I thought I was pretty clear about it. Don't follow me! It took us a long time to find you, old man. It took you so long I forgot my punchline. They followed me forever if I let them. It was time to end this. Ballistic! There we go, that's what we're playing today. A little indie game by the developer called Bomb Shelter Games. It's their first game. It's just come out on Steam. And this is the first game I've actually asked as far as the, uh, excuse the terrible mouse there in the corner. Um, I've asked for a key and got, which is great. The rest of the games I tend to bring you have been offered to me, whereas this one I did actually request and they gave it me, which is absolutely fantastic what is it though it's it's a bit of a funny one it's kind of look at that mouse just sneaking in again bastard um it's a case of, uh, of being a cross between say an action and um i would say with light puzzling elements to it it's uh it can be quite frustrating i have played it for a little bit i've done the tutorial and i've i've done the first couple of levels and uh there's, there's just a lot to take in. Now, it does say at the start, as you saw, that it is best to use an Xbox controller. And I'm not one for an Xbox controller, or at least if I am, it's for very simple games. And this has a lot of stuff going on on the buttons, and uh, a lot of stuff can happen all at once. But you'll see. You'll see. We're about to play. We're going to be playing it for about half an hour. I'm just going to jump into it, see what it's like. Hopefully, with me playing the first couple of levels, at least the first few levels are going to go as smoothly as possible. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll just check it out. And if you guys like it, the link is below. Uh, I believe uh, as of recording this, it is on special at the moment. There is, I think it's 20% off at the moment. Don't quote me on that. If it's not, I'm not going to refund you. So you just have to take what it is. But it's relatively cheap anyway. As far as in the UK is concerned, it's under a fiver. So, you know, less than a pint of beer. Less than a pint of beer. So can't know. Anyway, level select. Let's do this. So, as you can see, there's two ways we can go here. We can go for the advanced, where you press X to start reloading your books, uh, books, your bullets, and then you have to go through the uh, the regime of X, Y, R, B, B, and then pressing down and up. No chance. No chance of me doing that. We're sticking to simple. Right, so, let's do this. I'm, I'm going to start from the beginning, I think, as long as it allows me to. Yeah, I think this is it. I thought I was out, but they brought me back in. This should have ended 15 years ago, but here we are again. Some people just can't take a hint. The organisation thinks they can come back and revive their old garbage. They killed thousands, all for a laugh. No, they think they could kill me. Well, I don't die that easily, and I'll be damned before I let them continue their genocide. I think it's time I paid them a visit. Send them a nice thank you note for the present they gave me. Glenside PA... You are about to learn that some things are better left alone. Boom! Objectives, you're sending a message. Your only objective is to make them pay. Kill every last person in there. Don't worry about being seen because no one's coming out of there alive. Objective, kill them all. Right, so we've got eight targets. We're in and we're out. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Nothing too much to worry about here. And uh, we're going in loud and heavy, so it's all about firepower. We have the... N500 shotgun, 8 shell capacity, pump action, ineffective at long range, like most shotguns are. We have the equipment of fragmentation grenades, 3 second fuse, pull pin, release spoon, throw, 
can cook for more precise detonation. Not really needed to be uh, too precise in this. And then we have body armor. Provides moderate protection from small arms fire. Well, will even disintegrate when damaged. Yeah, okay. Well, we hope we not to get shot too much. Now, before we jump into the full action here. Wow, that's loud. There we go. Sorry, that guy doesn't come too much closer. We are... Well, we... I am going to show you the buttons. There's the buttons. There's quite a bit to take in there. Basically, we have gadgets and we have guns. And uh, we also have a knife so we can stab people if we want to. We can use cover. And that's pretty much it. It's... Uh, it's all right. It's not the worst out there, but it's definitely not the simplest game we've ever played before. Let's see how this goes. Hello. Take it. So now we've got to change to the knife so we can open up the grill. Slide underneath. Sneaky, sneaky. And then we can jump back out here. Is that guy going to turn around? I think we're good. I think we're good. Like a ninja. Like, like a ninja. There we go. And again. Uh, change back to the shot. Oh, ooh. to the face. There we go. Up in the lift. So, as you can say, it's it's oh, it's fairly simple. Now you can blind shoot, which is awesome. Like that. Great. Let's reload. Uh, oh. Can we touch them with a the gun? We can touch them with a the gun. Can we shoot shoot the other guy? There we go. Oh, here I am. Hello. Mission accomplished. Oh, is that it? Do I have to get out of here? No. Over. Boom. There we go. First level. Nice and gory. Just how we like it. Based on the intel I gathered from my interrogation, I have located the man responsible for the assassination attempt. He is one of the two brothers who run this horror show. He is located at one of Stick Co's office facilities. I need to sneak in and kill that son of a bitch, Wade. I'm coming for you. Remember, the organisation doesn't know I am alive. I must not be seen. For if I am, there is no telling what kind of wrath they may bring down upon me. Now, this one I struggled with. Uh, your primary objective is to assassinate the HVT. Unfortunately, he is guarded by a hardwired security camera that cannot be disabled via ECM jammers. So you'll have to dis disable them via an office terminal. So first we need to disable the surveillance system. And with the cameras disabled, the target will be exposed. Get in there and take him out. Just make sure you are not seen. With him out of the picture, we will take care of the exfil. In HVT. Now, um, this one took me... I've played this game for about an hour. This level took me about 35 minutes because I just kept dying and dying and dying. As soon as you're spotted by a camera, it's game over and you've got to start from the beginning. So it can be a bit frustrating. Stealth is the key. So you will be taking your quietest kit... So we'll be having the B-92 silenced pistol. 15 round magazine will not alert enemies to your presence. We have the ECM jammers. Disable all cameras in the area for 5 to 10 seconds. And then we have the snake camera. Look through doors before taking them. And the nice thing about this one, which uh, I believe because I did go to the next level after this, you get to choose from two different infiltration areas. Uh, and then it shows you where the objectives are. So objective one is on the second floor. And we can come in via the roof at the bottom or the roof at the top. And then the guys at the top of the actual uh, office itself. Infiltration points. Grappling hook. Sneak onto the premises via the sewer system. Then grapple onto the roof. It will leave you two stories above one f and one floor back from the main entrance. Or we can do the airdrop, which is a halo jump from 30,000 feet. We'll touch down on the roof of the right tower close to the target, far from the camera controls. Now, last time I went with the grappling hook. Uh, for the sake of getting through as many of these levels as possible, I'm going to stick to that because I, I should remember pretty much how we do it. I say pretty much, this might take a few goes. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. It, slow and steady wins the race on this one, I feel. So here we are. So as you can see, that camera is uh, coming backwards and forwards. But first we need to get in. Oh, no, we've got away with that. Now, the only thing which annoys me about this, we can take a look at the of the uh, the part of the level we're in, is when you go through these doors, you actually go into a, a completely different side-scrolling area. So it's very difficult to strategize from this view what you're going to be doing in the next view. And that means you also have to remember where all these doors are and, and where they lead to. Because if you walk through a door and the camera's shining at you, that's it, game over. Uh, with that in mind... 
Where's my state camp? There we go. So that's us looking through the door. As you can see, we've got the one guy who keeps turning around. Uh, we have the other guy at the other end who's watching the entrance. He's just staring out, which is great. So yeah, it looks like we've just got the one guy to worry about. So as soon as he turns, we'll go through. Quiet, stabby, stabby. Quiet, stabby, stabby. Right, that's that done. What's going on now? Right, so we've only got the one door here. We might as well take it. What's going on here? So we've got the camera. As you can see, by the grates. It, there's no other way around this. We have to use the grates. So, oh, so down we go. Now, I believe we are far enough away from the camera to not be seen. Yeah. It's a shame that there isn't a sort of line of sight for the camera so you know exactly how close you are. Right, so we've got one guy that way. Uh, no one that way. Okay, well, again, I think because of how far away we are from him, he's not going to notice us straight away. No. So, let's change back to the gun. Can we shoot him from here? Oh, yeah. Boom. Anyone else around? Nope. Nope, we're good, we're good. Okay, so... And we've gone through that door, so up into here. Anything here? Just the one camera. So let's try going through that door as soon as that camera turns. We'll have a quick peeky. Boom. Okay, all right, well, we'll try that again. So this time, though, I think I might try and sneak through that that door. Can we shoot that guy? Let's try shooting that guy. Right. You'd have thought the camera would pick up the guy's brains being splattered everywhere, but not one to uh, worry too much about that. So let's change back to the knife. Let's have a quick peek in here. Looks good. Quickly. Ah, no, you probably just heard. I just got caught by the camera. As it turns out, it seems to be an empty room, so we don't have too much to worry about there. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, wrong button. Right, so back to the gun. Here we go, here we go, here we go. See, right in front of the camera there. Didn't see a thing. Didn't see a thing. Turny, turny. Right, so through here. What's going on? Right, so it's. Aha, right. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not doors so much this time. So let's try that again. So. So it would appear that the PC we need to get to to turn the cameras off are in that room. So as long as we're quick to that PC to the left as we as we do this. We should be okay. Right, let's go. Yoink. Run away, run away, run away. Right, so the camera should be off now. We get back to the gun. Uh, what's going on here? Not a lot. Uh, what's at the top? Uh, it might be worth having a quick look whilst we're here, because once we drop down, we've no way of getting back. Uh, anything here? Well, we've got we've got a door. Let's see where it leads. Uh, change back. Have a quick peeky. Uh, I think we're good. Oh right, okay. So we're back where roughly where we got caught before. Right, okay. So let's go back this way. And this is where I generally struggle with games like this. It's just far too much to take in and remember. So back to here. And we'll use the lift. Uh, quick look through here. Right, I think. Where are we now? Ah, right, so. Hmm. So we can get out here, I think. 
Yeah. Do we want to get out here? Uh, yeah, why not? No? No? Can we just drop in? Hello? Hello? Let me up? Nope. Okay. So I think that's just pretty much done here. We might as well drop down and carry on the way we're coming. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Right, okay, so... Down we go. Stabby, stab, stab. Quick look -see. He turns. Stab to the skull. Stab to the skull. Peaky, peaky. That's the camera one. That's fine. We're good here. Can walk all the way through. No need to go down the grill. Might even jump around a bit. We can just about shoot him by getting shot. Better reload. Right, so where do we go from here? We go up, up the lift. We're going for the guy, aren't we? We're gunning for the guy now. So up, -y, up, up. Is he going to turn? He's not going to turn. We should be okay. Oh, come on. That was in the in the head. That was in the head. That was me trying to be cheeky. Oh. No one can hide from my side. Oh, okay. For the win this time. Now, as I said, I've played through this. So I know roughly what's going on. Although I, am, I am messing up a lot at the moment. But uh, this can be quite frustrating if, you, if you're not sure where you're going wrong. And as you can see, there are slight puzzle elements. Because if I'd have drop down to this grill before going in and deactivating the uh, the cameras via the computer I'd be scuppered and I'd have to start again so interesting right, let's go so that goes off All right okay so there's nothing this way was it so back into there down we go stabby stab <laughs> We'll wait until he turns, because he turns pretty sharp. There we go. Yoink. Uh, through there, don't have to worry about this. Bounding across. There we go. Uh, shooty, shoot, shoot. Now we're going to stab the guy this time. No, no, not him. Him. Stab him. Up we go. Now I think this is the main man in here. Yeah, there he is. He's... He's okay. He's... I don't think he's going to turn around. Nope. Awesome. There we go. Level 2. That took me 35 minutes the first time I played that. It was absolutely ridiculous. Who's next? With Wade out of the picture, it's time to start dismantling their infrastructure. Stickco is housing servers that allow them to coordinate their operation and distribute their message of hate to the world. I need to take them out. A bit of C4 in the right locations might just do the trick. Your primary objective is to plant C4 all, on all five of the servers in Stickco's facility. As soon as the C4 has been placed on each server, exfiltrate the way in which you entered. Oh, okay. Plant C4 on all five servers. Ah, okay. So we've got two on the one floor layout, which I believe would be the front. And then... Three on the on the back, but we come in through the the back. So we can drop in by the roof, can we? All right, through, right. So we can come in through the bottom right hand corner from the grill. Oh, hang on a sec. So through the door brings us into here. We're probably best just going through the front. Let's go through the front. 
This op requires a balance of power and precision. We are sending you in with the most rounded kit. We get the C4A1 assault rifle, 30 round magazine, automatic and semi-automatic fire modes, just in case, you know, one isn't enough for you. You know, there's sometimes you just don't have to go balls to the wall when it comes to offloading your clip. Sometimes it's best just to, you know, be have the one ball on the wall, on the one testicle, just bopping against it. Trip mine, directional tripwire mine plant and do not step on. A number of the noisemaker, cricket style clicker will draw enemies to your location. Uh, we can go via the front door. Everyone loves a hero and nothing says don't mess with me like running in the front door, guns blazing. Probably fairly dangerous. Or we have the ventilation system. We have noticed a hole in their security. A below ground ventilation shaft leads you straight into the first floor of the compound. Secluded and stealthy. Nope, balls to the wall. Let's do it. Right, hello. Boom. Oh, 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 dying, dying, dying. Nope, uh, died, dead. Okay, we'll try that again. Oh, he's hiding. Come on, sneak out. And again. Next one. Got it. Reload. Where are we going? Uh, let's just pop into this door here. Anyone to worry about? Mm. We're good, we're good. Now, this could be awkward. We're going for a quick, quick knife to the throat here. Oh. Uh. Oh, hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Oh dear. Oh, stab him! Your mistake. Let's try again. Oh, straight away, boom. Oh, we've got a server here as well, awesome. Four left, okie dokie. Let's go back to the gun. Come on, show yourself. Awesome. Oh dear, dear. Go away. I'm allergic to bullets. That's clear. Go down. Oh, and this is where we would have come in if we chose the second way. No, can't drop down. Okay, never mind. Onwards and upwards, apparently. Right, it's saying to use the trip mine here. Let's, let's, let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a whirl. So, can you see anyone? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there's the one. Might as well do this whilst we're here. There we are. Oh, he's still there. Oh, oh, oh. Stab him, stab him. Oh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I didn't go according to plan. Okay, let's do this again. Die. Come on. Oi. 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 Come on. Show your face. There we go. Next. Hello. Yoink. If only they'd learn. If only they'd learn. Right, let's see if this guy will do what he did last time, because that would be handy. Come on. Come on, a little bit more. Come in, come in. Come on. Hello. Hello. Down here, down here. Look at me, look at me. Okay. Stab it, stab it, stab it, stab it. Oh, wow. Teleportation. Didn't know we were playing Dishonored. There we go. So that's that one done. Let's change back. Seems the safest thing to do right now. Two. Right. So behind here. Ok. 
Okay, man. Oh, have it. Right, so we're going to try and be clever again here. Uh, so if I pop that about. Oh, no, no, it's just shooting. It's easier just to shoot that guy, right. So, how do we use the trip mines? Let's uh, kill that guy. Is there anyone left on this level? Are you going to come all the way? No, right, we're safe for the time being. Let's do this one uh, server in here. We'll have a quick look see here. Quickly, quickly. We might actually get away from not having to use these trip mines. I feel that the um, the cameras have gone from being ultra deadly to not very useful at all. It's they seem a bit redundant in this. Other than alerting the uh, the enemy stickmen to where you, you are and for them to come and investigate. Nothing here. Which is a shame. They make the last level so hard and then this level they just don't mean a thing. We don't have to look there? No, I died probably. Oh no, down again. My bad. Right, so we can't go through that door, it's all hit off. So that just leaves the one at this end. I think we're heading up now. Hello. To the last two. Uh okay, right, so let's uh let's try out Let's try one of these mines. So let's get rid of that. Where is he? Nope. Well, you gonna come any further? Right, well, we want it somewhere where we can see what's going on. So let's put it. Oh, oh, oh! Run, 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 run! Come on. It's a bloody camera. That was me saying it's redundant. Camera's revenge. Anything else? Oh, there was another guy. Let's see if we can use it now. Is that a left trigger? What right trigger? Oh, it's right trigger. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Not, not my finest moment ever. Come on. Wait. Come on. Oh, headshot. Okay, right. Let's, let's do this again, right? So. Come on. Where are you? There we go. Coming in, chopping in for me. Come on down, it's lovely down here. Oh dear, I didn't mean to do that. I need to get out of here. Uh, stop, 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 Good. Uh, we'll just, we'll forget about that. I don't, I don't think I have to come back this way. Well, I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that. Okay, so oh 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 down we go. Are you coming this way now? Clicky click. Come on, I'm clicking, I'm clicking. Please come this way. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. STFU. 
Clicky, click, click. Please come. It's too far away, isn't it? Can I, can I even jump over this now? I, I think it's going to kill me. Okay, okay, here we go. Right. We're going to work our way up. Leg it. Run, 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 and jump. Oh, we did it. I feel like I've missed something here. No, it's on the next level, isn't it? Well, we've successfully planted a claymore. Um, we haven't made it go off yet. Uh, where are you? Right, let's just pop that in there. Clicky, clicky, click! Let's watch him bloom. Oh, nasty. Don't mess with me. Ah, oh, blaze of glory that was. Going down in a blaze of glory. Uh, oh no, sweet. Okay, that's good. Nice in here. Have to go through the grates again. Is there any need for me to actually go through the grates now? Now I've killed those guys? I really should pay more attention. Hello. Oh. I'm down here. Clicky click. Nope. So, I like to think we're progressing with every life. <laughs> I may be wrong on that. Hide. Uh, no, we're good, we're good. Carry on. It's, it's an interesting little game. As I said, it can get frustrating when you get stuck and you're not quite sure what you're doing. Wrong, that is. There's a fair few here. How far are you coming? What? What? Like a bitch? Like a bitch. Well, at least I'm getting achievements, I suppose. Come on. I feel this is my time. This is, this is going to be the run. Duh, uh, duh, uh, what? There we go. No, no, no. Uh. <laughs> okay, so you want to be pretty precise when you're going to cover. Come on. Show yourself. Bad enough now. Next. Wait. You died like a bitch, bitch. For the sake of consistency, I'm just going to stick to the same route. No, I got a few shots in on that one. That wasn't wasn't the best. Dropping down now. Come on. Can I put? Oh, awesome. Ha. All right, so two more left on this. So let's swap back to the gun. Do 
geez, I can't get hit much more. Uh, so swap to that. Pop that down. Oh. <laughs> I'm determined to do this for, for before we finish this this episode. Come on. Come on. Show yourself. <sighs> now, as I said, as far as this is concerned, it's not so bad because it's a relatively short restart time. But it, it could get annoying if you get stuck on something. But it would appear that it's it's not... Oh, no, 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 no. Damn. It, it doesn't appear to be by chance, you know, it's, it's all by design. So I, I get the feeling that if, if you do mess up, it is your fault. It's, it's you know, it's enough to do with, you know, bad RNG or anything like that, which I suppose is uh, it's pretty nice. Better than uh, it being completely out of your control. Go away. Right, we're not going to mess about this time. We're just going for the shooters. I think I'll only take one more shot before I die anyway. Yeah, I'm definitely got one more shot left in me. Come on. We should have another server down here we haven't done yet. Numero de. Do I want to go this way? I think I want to go this way. Does he turn? He doesn't turn. Does he turn now? He turns now. Duck, dive. Oh, we should be able to get to two servers now. So, up, up. Up in the steel coffin. Here we go. Is that that bad boy? There we go. Up to the top. Can that move? No. Oh, it's not. It's a, I thought it was a lift. It's a window. It's a window. Okay, so we, we got the one. We got the one. Now we're gonna have to go back now. Uh, don't care. Nothing to kill me. That's fine by me. So now we need to. In fact, what's up top there? We can travel all the way up to the last server. Which. Might be worth doing. Yeah, let's do that. So if we press up and up very quickly, we should be okay. Up, 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 up. Right, so there's server four. Uh, I could really do the snake cam about now. Let's uh let's change back to the gun. Oh. Oh nice. No, just what I needed, okay. So that is the health done. So back down in the lift. Down, 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 down. That's quick enough. Yeah, they reset. So we don't want to go back that way. So that only leaves this way now. Hidey hide. Uh, we're good for a bit. Next. Now, does he turn, or is that you done? I think we're good. I think we're good. Sneaky, sneaky, catchy monkey. <laughs> oh, the gurgling sound. That's what does it. Where are we now? Mm, nothing here. Next one. 
Stab him. Almost didn't see him because he was behind that chair. Good thing I didn't run too quickly. Ah, and the server. Awesome. Exfiltration available. So now we need to exit the same way we came. Uh, that shouldn't be too difficult. So we go down. Back up again. Uh, down again. We can leave it zoomed out now. There's nothing else we need to worry about. There is more health there. I'm not sure how you get to that one. I haven't seen a way through. And where's that brought us? Right, so down into the lift. And then just stroll out the front door. Looking badass after several attempts. Why even jump a little? Hey, you see me, but there's no one around to react. The majority of people are dead. Mission accomplished. Ah, filter unlocked. Thermal. And this is the uh, the cool thing about this. Uh, do I continue? Tip of the iceberg. I'll read it to you. With their infrastructure disabled, it's time to take down their manufacturing and distribution. In order to do that, I need to find their production center. This would have been fairly easy had I not just wiped out their servers. Hindsight is 2020. Luckily, their data is backed up on a hard drive in one of their regional branches. All I have to do is run in and grab it. It's not like they're expecting me. Uh, and then we'll go on to the next one, which we're not going to do now. We're not going to do now. Let's just go back and back and back. Ballistic! And the other thing which I just want to show you quickly is as you do the different levels uh, in the extras section, you do actually open up different filters in which you can play the game on, which is a pretty cool feature. So as you can see here, that is the normal one. Uh, and uh, where are we? Sketchbook. So I've opened up that one. So as you can see, you'll be playing it just as sketches. You've got night vision mode, and we've just opened up thermal. But as you can see, there's a few more, which I believe open up after each level you, you complete. So that would make it, what, two, four, six, eight, ten, ten levels to play through all in all, which isn't the longest of games, but if you fail at it as much as I do, it's going to seem pretty long. So there you go. Like the game says there, Ballistic. It's out to, right now on Steam. It's... Four pounds in the UK, your regional variant. Can't be too much more. What's that, about six dollars? Six euros-ish. So it's not a lot of money. And as I said, it is on special for this week. Uh, so it's, it's, you know, if it's the sort of thing you like look off, check it out. So it's a cool little game. And because it is a first game developed by this company, then uh, it's, it's good to, uh, to support them when they show such potential as these do. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.